What is going on everyone? I'm Sir James from GamerFusion.com and I'm here to give you guys my review on a free to play title known as World of Warplanes. To give you the basic idea in terms of the settings for this game, I'm just going to read you guys a small little paragraph that I had put down already. Which is, World of Warplanes is a massively multiplayer online game dedicated to the golden era of military aviation. In supplement of the legendary World of Tanks game as a new part of the Wargaming.net universe, Teams of 15 players each battle against each other in an unceasing confirmation for air supremacy, but each moment will be remembered for a long time. Flying the steel birds from the biplanes of the 1930s up to the first jet planes of the 1950s, millions of pilots around the world are proving their own superiority. So pretty much just like the basic concept of the game, you already have a game based on land based with World of War tanks, you also have in the open ocean and now this time the battles are taking over the skies. So depending on what your personal preference is, whether it's the sea, land or air, there's a game made out there for everyone which is a fun title overall. The first part I want to go ahead and talk about is the graphics. How was the visual aspect within World of Warplanes? And I gotta say, visually the game is really impressive. I like the part that when you're viewing the different aircrafts within the hangar bay, depending on what kind of aircraft it is, for example, if it's one that has a shinier coat on it, you could see the details of the light reflecting off the aircraft within the hangar bay, especially when you have the graphics maxed out, which is pretty cool. It's, it's little details like that I could appreciate within the game, but overall in the actual game itself during combat, how does it look overall and I gotta say even in combat the graphics are really cool especially when you're in the different dog fights the details in terms of the clouds when you're flying up into the clouds the fact that you can't see anything nor can your opponent see you the details of the water the different ships and the landscapes overall looked really cool especially when you're flying your aircraft in, in the world for example if you have the sun beaming on you you can see the reflection off your aircraft and not only that as you're flying towards the sun you're going to be blinded by that but the overall detail quality in terms of the graphical department is really impressive and one that I could appreciate in a free to play title like this. Even though it's a free to play title, you could tell that there's been a lot of work implemented into the graphics quality of this game. Next up is the gameplay. How's the overall gameplay within World of Warplanes? Well, the gameplay is quite simple. Within the game, you have about three different ways to play. You have the mouse and keyboard, gamepad, and joystick. So depending on what your personal preference is, you do have those three different options. And of course, you could change the control scheme around to fit your personal needs. Not only that, your main objective here is quite simple, which is to dominate the skies by eliminating your opposing team. However, you got to be careful because there's absolutely no respawns at all. So if you're not used to games where you have no respawns, then this not might be the game for you. However, if you enjoy games where you have the extra challenge of making sure you don't die on the battlefield, then this game is definitely going to provide a really nice challenge for you. So besides the obvious in terms of eliminating the opposing team, what are the other options that this game has to offer? For example, are there other aircrafts? Is there a customization option? Can you create your own aircraft? Well, I'm happy to say yes, yes, and no. Uh, first off, let's go ahead and go over the hangar bay. The hangar bay is where you can have all these different options. For example, you have your select aircraft, service, upgrades and paint jobs for the selected aircrafts you have about five different factions which has a variety of different aircrafts to choose from and there are a ton and I mean a ton of different aircrafts to choose from. So if, if, if you're the type of person who likes completing everything 100%, then this game is going to take you a while to unlock every single aircraft in the game and of course the fighter jets as well. Next portion is the service. Within the service, you can automatically set it up to where it will refill your ammunition to repair your aircraft. However you want to set it up, you could choose different options within that section of the game. Uh, next up is the upgrades. Within the upgrades, you could upgrade your aircraft with a variety of different things. For example, you could add a bigger engine for more boosts. You could also... Uh, upgrade in terms of the amount of hit points you could add missiles onto your aircraft and even upgrade the machine guns on your aircraft however you got to pay attention in terms of what you actually upgrade because you got to pay attention to the chart located on the right hand side where it has your hit points firepower airspeed and maneuverability because within the chart you're going to notice if you upgrade certain sections uh, for example if you try to you know install some missiles on your aircraft you're going to notice your maneuverability is going to drop quite a bit depending on where you're going to upgrade within the missile because you have about two or three different options for each of those different segments and of course you could also add equipment for example the fire extinguishers to help uh, you know take out the fire to make sure your engine doesn't overheat and things like that so just you know little useful things here and there 
Uh, the next section is the paint shot where you could add some customizable paint. Unfortunately, there's no option to where you could customize it to your own, where you could do your own paint job within the game, which I think would have been a cool option. But here you just have to choose from a variety of different you know paints depending on the overall aircraft will issue a certain amount of uh, patterns to choose from and of course you could also add um, you know some decals and stuff like that so if you want to add like a shark face to you know the front end of your aircraft or you've, if you want to add like one of the girls on there or a different emblems and stuff like that which is another thing I would like to mention is that that would be cool if there was an option to where you could add your own emblem for example maybe you're putting together a clan within the game it would be cool to maybe you know have like a filter system where you could add your own emblem within it so that way you and your team has a matching emblem uh, which I think would be a cool option to have in the game who knows they may add that within a later patch but that's just an option I want to throw in there but for now, you just have, you know, whatever's on there to select from, and that's pretty much all you have right there. Unfortunately, this game does not offer the opportunity to create your own aircraft, which I think would have been another cool addition to have. I mean, this is just a little nitpicking stuff, but it's just some ideas out there, just kind of throwing out there. Uh, the next section is the tech tree. Within the tech tree, you have the description of all the different uh, fighters within the actual game itself, from fighters to heavy fighters and even the jets. So you have a really nice small description of every single one. So if you want to, you know, learn some basic information on these different aircrafts, especially whatever is your current favorite, you may learn a thing or two about that particular aircraft. And like I said, it's spanned across five different factions within the game. The next section is the store page where you're able to buy different aircrafts and even sell. For example, the selling the aircrafts, maybe you found a better aircraft and there's one that you're not really using at all, but you could use whatever points that you're going to get from selling it. So you could sell it and you could use those points towards your upgrading or pur purchasing a different uh, aircraft depending on what you have unlocked and of course within this game since it is a free to play title you are able to add real life currency into the game to aid you in terms of helping unlocking different things but I mean for the most part you could earn all these points within the game itself without having to spend actual in game cash altogether. But those are the different options within the gameplay. But like I said, the gameplay is uh, quite fun and simple. I've tried out the game with all three controls. Like I said, the mouse and keyboard, the gamepad, and joystick. And honestly, all three worked out quite a bit. I didn't really notice, you know, one having a better advantage over the other, or at least with my usage of it. Um, but overall, all seemed to work well, especially if you're just using the mouse and keyboard. The control schemes worked quite well. I didn't have any issues on my end. But anyways, that's the overall gameplay. Up next is the sound. How's the overall sound within World of Warplanes? And I gotta say the sound quality is quite good. Within the actual main hangar bay you have this really nice relaxing tone. However, once you're in the middle of combat you have all kinds of sound effects that kick in, especially with the sound effects of your aircraft's engine. So for example, when you're in the middle of the battlefield and you're going against some opponents, you could hear the sound of their engines as well. And when you get quite good at the game, you could almost kind of listen and go, oh wait, I know what kind of aircraft my opponent is using. And then you kind of get the upper hand there or you could get the disadvantage especially if your opponent has an aircraft with good maneuverability especially the sound effects from the missile and bullets all together you could hear the bullets is whizzing by you as your opponent is missing or when you're taking damage on your aircraft but the sound quality all together is really good and one that I was able to appreciate in a game like this. Up next is lifespan. What kind of lifespan do I see in a game like this? To me this game has a really good lifespan and here's why. First off, the game is free to play, meaning that you don't have to pay anything just to play the game. All you have to do is to, is to create an account, sign up, and play. Simple as that. The other reason is because there's a lot of people, especially within Major League Gaming, who are jumping into a game like this. The fact that you could get together with a group of your friends and just dominate the sky to see who's the best of the best is a really cool portion. But the fact that the game is free to play, meaning that you don't have to pay a monthly fee or anything like that, is the reason why I see people are going to be coming back to a game like this because it's a free online game and one of which many people can enjoy. Now I think what would be a cool addition is that they already have one based off battleships and now they have one with planes. That would be cool to kind of incorporate the two together because within this game uh, besides your the opposing team's aircrafts there's also battleships on the open sea that you could take damage from. So it would be cool to incorporate those two portions of the game into one and of course they extend the amount of people that you can have in the multiplayer. I think that would be a cool addition. But altogether, like I said, the lifespan is really good. The fact that it's a free-to-play game, there is no monthly subscription or anything, is the reason why people are going to be coming back to playing this game more and more. 
As for the innovative, was there anything new here? Or was this something that we already seen before? To be honest, I have played a wide variety of different aircraft style games, and this is stuff that I already seen before. As I stated in the last segment, I think it would be pretty cool to incorporate maybe two or three of their other titles into one huge game. I think that would be quite different and unique in its own way. But altogether, this game is a really fun title in which I'm going to give it the score of an 8.5. The only grabs I really have with the game is the fact that just to get into the match, it's going to take you quite some time. A lot of times I had to wait 8 to even 10 minutes just to jump into a match and this is done with wireless and even a internet connection plugged in with an ethernet cord so no matter how I was connecting to the internet it was still taking a long time just to join a battle so if you're looking for a game where you could easily jump into the online multiplayer just quick and easy this isn't really going to be a game for you however if you don't mind waiting and you have some patience then this is a game that you're probably going to enjoy altogether especially if you get a group of buddies just to dominate this guys but anyways like i said i'm going to be giving this game an 8.5 out of 10 if you guys would like to see some gameplay you guys could check the links down below anyways i'm sir james from gamer fusion and remember gamer fusion empowers your gaming